Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Cube SMP. Oh, it is refreshing to say that again. It is really, really refreshing. I uh, I kind of took a little break before the war. There weren't so many Cube videos because I was kind of unsure of how the war was going to go. I didn't want to build anything because I feared that my stuff would just get broken in the war and I would have to rebuild it anyway. So I took a little break. I haven't done anything on the airship. I haven't done anything on the balloons. Uh, they are actually my next projects. Uh, I'm going to actually work on those a little bit later in this episode. But yeah, I kind of just took a little break. I didn't want to do anything too big, like I was saying. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get back onto that grind now. We're going to be able to be getting cube episodes out nice and often again. So I hope you guys are excited for that. I'm just running around right now. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what my main priority should be right now after the last episode. All right, guys. So before I get into this episode, before I get into what I want to do, oh, Grizz is jumping around in the background. Uh, yeah, before I get into what I want to get into, I've got to do some confrontation. Got to get my little butt into gear, I guess, and uh, go talk to this guy. I've been putting this off. The He scares me. He does scare me. He's, is he a west sider? Or is he a north sider? I don't know. There's some whole whole other storyline that he's got going that I don't know about. Uh, so yeah, no, he's kind of shady, kind of mysterious. But it's Mr. Mitch. I ended off last episode really abruptly. He blew up my store, my redstone store, which I kind of stole the land from him. But it looks like he's reclaimed it. Like Mitch's land, Mitch's land, Mitch's... Oh my god. Mitch? Oh my god. Mitch? Dude, I didn't think that would one-shot you. What? That was a warning, dude. You that was a warning? Are land. you kidding me? Can I have my stuff? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can oh have Oh my god, stuff. you obliterated me, dude. What? Okay, I partially apologize for that one, but dude, you gotta stay off my land. I told you. I'm serious about this. But wait, were you just standing up here? Yeah, I was hiding in the tree, crouching. But wait, Mitch, this is, this is my land. Oh, okay. No, I was here. Are we rival neighbors now? Is that what this is? Really? I think so. Dude, right. I'm gonna set up a cannon on my land. I'm just destroying your just land. just cannon my thing. Oh my god. Alright, well, what are you doing here? Like, are you doing anything I'm special? Just, I'm just building up my shop, dude. I'm just starting okay. to rebuild. You know how I do. Uh-huh. Life I mean, you couldn't have just, like, taken over my shop? Uh, I could've, but I didn't. <laughs> Thinking back on it, we probably could've done- Well, I mean, I can leave you to, uh, to build the shop. Uh, here, actually, wait, let me give you this. Try building with this, because it's kind of immune to TNT. Alright, dude. Thanks. Yeah, you might want to just Wait, like fortify we're, we're yourself good, though. a little like, bit. We're still friends, right? Yeah, no, fantastic friends. No hard feelings? Mm, no. Brofist? I I mean, I guess. All right, dude. I'll see you later. Have fun building. I hope it turns oh, out nice. You too. <laughs> Bye. All right, so that really, I mean, was that nice? Was he being nice? Was Mitch being nice to me? Just, I mean, he did kill me. I don't know. I got really mixed, mixed feelings from that, but I, I'm okay with giving him his land back for now. For now, uh, I kind of have a couple ideas of what I could do to it. If he does get on my bad side again. Actually, wait. Why did he need that store when there's this store here? Do you guys, did you guys know about this store? He built, he built up a new store on top of Mark's Volcano. Now, I'm not sure if it's like an actual, oh god, the totem's over there. The speaking totem. I can't even mess with the speaking totem. I'm just gonna go straight to this. I'm gonna go straight to this. So this is Mitch's new redstone testificate looking shop. So this is apparently... His new shop, but he's now blown up mine and taken that land too. So like, am I gonna blow this? I guess, yeah. A warning to Mitch for him killing me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow this up. I'm going to blow this up later on and he's gonna see it. I'm gonna make sure he witnesses all of it. I'm gonna make sure that that happens and he, he knows not to mess with me again. And then if he does mess with me again, I'm taking out the other shop. I'm gonna do it. He can spend all the time he wants building it, but I'm gonna blow it up. Look at him just building. He doesn't even know that I'm here. He doesn't even know that I'm lurking yeah, right up. here. He doesn't even know that I'm lurking right here. Look at this. I guess I can get on with my projects for today then if uh, all that is sorted. I thought that was actually gonna be a lot worse than it was. Now my project is actually pretty exciting for today. We're, we're gonna put some of our old projects into action. Now that the war is finally over and out of the way, I don't have to worry about like starting another one or trying to get on Southside's nerves. I can literally just kick back and get building again. So looks like we're gonna have to tackle the monster. As I previously mentioned to you guys, I had to get my farm back up and running. Now all of the sheep died, so I had to pull in random sheep. So now you can see like we got some black sheep in here. There's a couple gray sheep. There's a gray sheep right 
there. But yeah, I filled this back up. It's all good to go. We should be getting some, uh, some mutton drops now, which is nice. And then around the back, if I can get through the door, stupid auto jump. Around the back, we have a ton more sheep that we've been shearing as well. So hopefully we're going to have enough wool to get our projects finished and hopefully in action as soon as possible. I'm hoping to get a couple of the mini hot air balloons done today. Maybe some progress on the big balloon. And then we'll see how Mitch's shop is coming along later in the episode. All right, guys. So quite a bit of time has passed uh, since that last clip. I've actually been working on getting these guys back here sheared over and over. So I now have like a really decent amount of wool to go ahead and build some balloons. Like that's what we got to be doing. We really got to be uh, building balloons, right? That's what we, that's why we play Q. We, we play Q to build balloons, right? No, but seriously, like, I have all of this wool from shearing the guys back there. I didn't really use this machine. I tried a little bit, as you can see right here. Uh, but it wasn't really as efficient as just going back there and shearing them. So I'm going to take all of this wool. We're going to have to dye some of it. So we're going to pick colors of the balloons. I think I know which, which I'm going to do. I think I'm going to change the location of the start of the electric course and make it so I can spread the balloons more evenly throughout the side rather than just clustered right here. I think that might look a little bit better. If we can get the sky full of balloons, that would look really nice. So yeah, since this is a pain to actually climb up there and build over and over, I'm going to have to put in a lot of work right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera. I'm going to get all of this dyed, get everything done, and I'll check in with you guys every now and then just so you can see how the progress is going. So uh, yeah, wish me luck on this. This is, this is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> I'm not gonna get this finished today guys. I'm not gonna get it finished. All right guys So I've put in some work. I'm actually I'm trying to avoid the mobs over here right now I'm up on top of my airship as you can see I put in some work on the balloons. You see that one down there That's one of the older ones, but I'm about to show oh you got a little glimpse of it right there I'm about to show you guys the new balloon I've got to go across the path to you know what? I'm just gonna show you. I don't want to look at the ground It's an orange and white balloon now. This is my path that I've uh I've built over to it. It's kind of precarious. Can't get the exact height. I wanted it to be higher than that one because I think, I think the elytra course might start from over by a grazer's base. I, that's what I'm thinking. And then people will go way up and they'll have to come down through them and eventually end up on a, on the dock down there. And I want to have like a half built air balloon down there that people can land in and it has a beacon in it. And then there's a prize at the end if they manage to do it. But yeah, this, uh, this balloon right here, if I can make my way inside is exactly the the same as the other one uh just a exact mirror of it that's why i didn't really want to show you guys me building it because it's just a, a lot more of the same really and that's all these are gonna be so i still have quite a bit of the resources which is nice we're pretty much good on the balloons for now you see how it looks nice and scattered out like that it, they're gonna be like down here as well and like way up as well so it's gonna look nice it's gonna be like a nice array of hot air balloons and then the airship in the background hopefully I kind of want one docked up to the airship. That might be pretty sick. I'll do some more hot air balloons behind the scenes. Like, I'll get that all done. And hopefully by next episode, we'll have those ready. But yeah, for now, I'm going to go ahead and put my master plan into action and see if I can uh, pull a little prank on Mr. Mitch. I wonder if Grazer wants to be a part of this too. All right, I'm sort of in the shadow of the shop that we are going to be taking care of right now. I don't know if you can see it up there. Just trying to get the last of this sand, and then I can go ahead and rig Mitch's shop. I know that he didn't really mess with me besides killing me earlier, but I feel like it's a bit much for him to want to take both plots of land, you know? Like, to take both of the shops? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely obliterating this one. Anyway, we need, to, we need to let the volcano breathe. We need to let the volcano breathe. All right, let me see. There should be a crafting bench just over here. I got way too much sand. I just realized I only have 34 gunpowder. I don't even know if this is right. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. This is all I actually need, though. Like, just these couple more pieces. I just went and scavenged the whole of Northside for the last of our gunpowder. I've already rigged this up a little, little bit. Well, when I say a little bit, I've kind of gone to town on it. And it's kind of going to make mass destruction. Because, I mean, when we're blowing stuff up, why not do it properly, you know? I have eight more pieces of TNT. I'm just now doing the uh, final floor. You can kind of see what I did up there. You can kind of see. Uh, that might be a bit obvious to Mitch, but yeah, let's send this thing sky high. Let's send this thing sky high. Yeah, I can't really get upstairs because it's blocked off. But you can see, like, there's a couple bits of TNT in here. Let's make sure this thing goes up. Let's get this corner up in the corners. Let's... Separate this with some sand so they don't fall. Yeah, a proper rig job. There we go. Oh, wait, no, we need to put the lever down. This thing is ready to blow. This thing is ready to blow. I'm gonna go and find Mitch. I'm gonna surprise him. Where is Mitch? Where is Mitch? All right, I think I see him. Mitch, 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 Mitch. Dude, Mitch. what's up, dude? How's Mitch. it going? Mitch. Oh, I'm hiding from you. Mitch. What's up, Will? Mitch. 
Will. <laughs> what? All right, dude, dude, dude. No, I have a serious question. Like, it's a serious, like, conundrum that I'm trying to get over and figure All out. Right. Why did you feel the need to own two shops? Uh, okay, I was just actually thinking about that. One, I think, is going to be, like, a food shop. The other, and I'm keeping the one on the on the mountain, on the volcano. Wait, so That's you're not okay with the rival shop. redstone business? You didn't want my, like, rivalness in, in the server? Dude, server? your rival redstone business? Is that a serious thing? Yeah. All right, dude, we'll bring it on. All right, right on. wait, wait, wait. I actually want to see what you have to offer. Come over to your shop. Let me see it. Let me see it. All right, all right. All right, here she is. Here she is. Up here. Here's Come with my me. Shop, dude. Come with me. Uh, I just, I just wanna, I just wanna hop inside, dude. I like the red cross that you have on the top of it. That's red... really nice, dude. No, that is not. That wasn't me. Was that you? You didn't put that there? No, I didn't. But doesn't it signify redstone, like the redstone dude, shop? Please, please. This is like the one thing that I care about on the cube. Grace, this is my I shop. See, Grace is here. He's trying to make an ah! order. What's up? Great. Hey, what is he doing here? What are you doing? Bonjour. Oh my god. Dude, Grace, what are you doing? I you should make a look, I will kill you right here if you blow my shop up. Uh -huh. Oh, if he blows it up, so like I can flip this lever no, right dude. here. Oh, I no. can flip this my lever. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm at two hearts, I'm at two hearts, I gotta go! I oh gotta my go. god! Oh, you did not just oh survive Oh my that. god! What? I definitely survived that. What? What? With one heart. Oh my god, Mitch, this is a Are really nice shot. Are you serious? Shot. Dude, it was destiny, you get to live. Dude, my shop didn't live though. <laughs> what happened, boys? <laughs> I mean, I just was there for the show. You can't blame me for there anything. There for really. the show. How did you know this was gonna go down? <laughs> Dude, it was literally was advertised you? on Facebook. As yeah, an no, event. I put it in the Facebook group oh, and everything. Oh, oh, oh he's oh, in the oh. volcano. Uh -oh. It was like it was witness nice explosive fireworks, and I was like, you know what? I might bring my fiance to the show, and then she yeah, backed out. Yeah, fiance. And then she backed out. You went alone. <laughs> yeah. Just, wow, dude, that's. That is brutal. Did your own fiance just dish out on you like that? You got stood up on a date with my shop being blown up? I thought I had a bad day, but you had a way worse day. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Mitch, you can't cloud the fact that your shop is blown up. I know it's blown up. <laughs> oh my god, dude, we completely tra- Wait, no, it looks like the volcano is actually erupting now. It did. It is. <laughs> We're leaving it. That this is an eruption. A big eruption, no indeed. All right. Well, I guess I only have one shop now. That that. Uh, Wait. What was it? You have be? another food one? shop? Yeah. No, oh, I'll yeah, make that... it even. We'll both soon have zero, Mitch. Don't worry. Oh god. All right, guys. That is actually gonna be the end of this episode. I hope you did enjoy. It was uh, it was really refreshing. Like I said in the intro, it was really refreshing to be back on the cube, recording the cube again, and just having fun, not having to worry about the wall, not having to worry about preparing anything, just having a good time building while well, actually demolishing more than building. But yeah, we've got a new hot air balloon up there still. I'm still meaning to uh, actually take this long pathway off of it. But yeah, that's good for now. I can't wait to uh, get the rest of them built. I also can't wait to see what Mitch builds here. I might, I might have to like try and steal it again or like put an attack on it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, like I said, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. If you're excited for cube episodes to come back, be sure to just let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.